Hi guys, nice to see you again. Remember the displays we discussed about uh, in the previous video? I'm gonna use this one because this one you know it already. Uh, seven segment displays. Basically displays. What were they invented for? To show numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Because all the multimeters, if you want to watch, there are these numbers. So all the vertical lines or horizontal ones, we call them segments. And if you count, you don't need 10 such lights to display numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. You only need 7. This is why they are called 7 segment displays. What the engineers were using to show on the multimeters numerical displays before. Because I'm not only talking about uh, what you know as being the um, needle meters. I'm talking about the digital displays. Before the apparition of the seven segment displays, they had something else. And this is actually what the seven segment displays replaced. So if you take a look at this, they also display all the numbers from zero to nine. These are called vacuum tubes. So as the name says, vacuum tubes, these are specialized for digital multimeters. <clears throat> so these are known as the Nixie tubes. But the Nixie tubes, like any vacuum tubes, they have a couple of big disadvantages and one of them is in order to operate each of the anodes inside it needs 170 volts so it's high voltage not very easy to manage as soon as they cut they were replaced by the seven segment displays now inside this one here because the size of the display is only 0 0.8 inches anything which is 0 0.8 inches or smaller like this one here, 0 0.3. So anything up to 0 0.8 inches, for each horizontal or vertical line we call a segment, they only need one light behind it. The segment actually is built from resin and is used only to spread the light evenly on all the segments from left to right, okay? But as the displays become bigger and bigger, like this one here is not 0 0.8 inches, it's 2.3. The size of a vertical line or a horizontal one is not enough to have to be lit evenly only by one LED. This is why here on that segment you have two LEDs. Yes, on the half segments right here, because there's not a seven segment, it's a 16 seven display, but the principle is absolutely similar. On the half lines right here, there is one LED for each. But for the longer lines, either horizontal or these inclined ones, one LED won't be enough, so they have two. And if the, display, the displays become bigger, then even two lights are not enough, like on this one here. This one, from here to here, is not 2.3 like the other one, it's five inches size, five inches height. And if you watch, just give me a second, I can stop it anytime. See? If I pick up that horizontal segment here where it stopped, I have one, two, three, four, five LEDs in the top, and one, two, three, four, five LEDs in the bottom. So there are two groups of five lights. They are both in parallel. They are connected in parallel. Okay. And this way I can check and stop on every segment I want and it's going to be absolutely the same for each here, or here, or here, or here, anywhere, anywhere is going to be the same arrangement, 10 LEDs per segment, five inches size. And if I pick up the bigger one you've seen last time, because this is seven inches size, 10 LEDs per segment are not enough. So now this one, if you count, there are 20 LEDs per segment, two groups of 10, two groups of 10 in parallel for each vertical or horizontal line. And uh, if you want to see bigger, just take a look at any gas pump uh, display. They are 16 inches high. So imagine this one is only seven. It's gonna be that big, 16 inches high with a lot of LEDs per segment, okay? So the number of 
the number of lights per segment, it depends on the size, okay? But in order to manage such a display made of a lot of LEDs, we have to understand how the LEDs are working and operating. And now we're gonna focus on one single diode.